In this video we're going to look at rounding to significant figures. So we've looked at rounding to the nearest 10, 100, 1000. We've looked at what it means to round to the nearest integer or whole number. And we've looked at what it means to round to decimal places. Um, so significant figures is very similar. Um, we're going to start, the best way to do it is start with an example. So I'm going to look at 387. Okay, um, so what you do with significant figures is, if I'm going to round to one significant figure, then you look from the left to the right, okay? So you ignore anything that comes by that, is, that are zeros, okay? And that's going to make sense in a moment, because I, at the moment I can't see any zeros, but there are all these zeros in the front that I could write that I don't bother. And then I hit the three. And that is my first significant figure. Okay? So it's kind of like asking, uh, if you had £387 in the bank account, which of the numbers is the most significant? Is it the £7, the £80, or the £300? And so you would probably say, well, it's the £300. Of course it is. So it's that three at the front that is the most significant and the most important. So if that is my first significant figure column, then I look one to the right, as I've always done in all of these examples. And if it is five or more, I round up. If it's less than five, I round down. The eight is five or more, so I round it up. So instead of looking at, well, in splitting it up, I'm actually looking at, is this closer to 300 or 400? And 387 is over here. So you can see, because that 8 tells you to round up, this is 400, closer to 400. And because we're looking into one significant figure, we write to 1SF, okay? Rather than the decimal place DP from before. So let's have a look at 5,283, okay? So 5,283, you work from the left to the right, you're ignoring anything that you make that, aren't, uh, that are zeros, and then you hit that 5. So that is the most significant digit, that's the significant column, one significant figure column, I look 1 to the right. The 2 tells me to round down, so this would be 5,000 to one significant figure. So it's kind of like saying if this was £5,283, the £5,000 is the most uh, important part of it. And so you're saying to yourself, right, is it closer to £5,000 or £6,000? And in this case, it's £5,000. So if I then looked at um, 3,687,302, then you work from the left to the right. The first one I hit is the 3. I look 1 to the right. The 6 tells me to round up. So this would be 4 million to one significant figure. Okay? It's asking me, is it closer to 3 million or 4 million? And it's closer to 4 million. So... With one significant figure, you're working from the left to the right and identifying which is the most important digit. When you're dealing then with decimals, and this is where the idea of those zeros comes in, if you're looking at something like 0 0.00632500001, okay, a bit excessive, I guess, to one significant figure, then... What we're looking at here is we're saying to ourselves, right, well, which is the most significant digit? Zero isn't a very significant number at all. And you work from the left to the right and ignore any zeros that you meet until you hit the digit that is non-zero. So in this case, it's that six. So this is now the first significant figure column. You look one to the right. The 3 is less than 5, so we round down to 0.006 
to one significant figure. To understand this on our number line, what we have is 0 0.006 and 0 0.007. And the, where is this on the number line? It's roughly about there. 0 0.006, not 0, 0. Uh, Yes, it is 0, 0. 6325001. Okay, and it is close, so it's that 0 0.006. Okay, so this is to one significant figure. What happens then when we look to two significant figures? So I'm going to stay with the same numbers. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, 5283. So I'm going to rewrite that in black pen to be consistent. 5283. Get rid of that bit. And that. And that. That can go, that can go, that can go, and that can go. Okay. Right. Now we're ready. So to two significant figures, it works in much the same way as one significant figure. You're working from the left to the right, but you're trying to identify which is the second significant figure column. So from the left to the right for 387, that would be the first, this would be the second. Okay, and then I look one to the right. The seven is five or more, so I would round this up to 390, to two significant figures, to two SF. Okay, so in this case, what you're asking yourself, right, you've got 387 pounds in the bank, and the 300 pound is obviously the most significant. The next significant, the second most significant thing is the 80 pounds. So that, £80 is the second significant figure place. For this second example, 5283, working from left to right, first significant figure, second significant figure, one to the right, is eight. So I round it up to 5300, zero, zero, to two significant figures. So you're either looking at, on your number line, this example, 5,200 or 5,300, and 5,283 is about there. So it's easily identifiable that it would be 5,300. The third example, to two significant figures, we're at our second significant figure place, one to the right, it tells us to round up, so this would be 30, well, 3.7 million. Two, three. Okay, so 3,700,000. And then finally, the last example, two significant figures. Ignore all the zeros that you get in the beginning. Six is the first significant place. Then it's the three, so that's the one we're looking at. One to the right is a two, so I round down to naught point naught naught six three to two significant figures. I should have written to two sig fig that as well. Okay? So this has been rounding to one significant figure and two significant figures. It is a little different to decimal places. You can do it with numbers that have no decimal places, okay? Obvious decimal places. And it's going to be very useful, this section, in being able to go into estimation, which I will look at in a few videos' time.